Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. God, I love her so much. Oh, I knew it, I knew it. That's cold. That's so cold. <gasps> Welcome back, gay schools, and everyone in between to our YouTube channel, The Horror Bandwagon. <laughs> Mr. Joe. And my name is Cody. And we are voice for horror analysis. Criticism. And spooky. Okay. And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. And welcome back to another Fall of the House of Usher reaction. Today, we are going to be covering episode five, which is called The Tell Tell Heart. Mm -hmm. And I tried really hard to differentiate each word. The <laughs> Tell Tell Heart. And what show are we watching? The Telltale Tales. I don't know. <laughs> See, Edgar Allan Poe is trying to fuck with me right now. But honestly, I'm so excited to get into this next one because things are getting crazy. Mm -hmm. Hot people are dropping off like flies. We only have a few more hot people left. What are they going to do? Well, me personally, I'm excited about this episode because some of you have been speculating in the comments that this is going to be one of my favorites. And The Telltale Heart is probably one of the better known works of Edgar Allan Poe. So See, I've heard of the title, um, but I, yeah, I have no idea what it's about. But I have seen the comments and a lot of people are excited to see what you're going to think about it. So let's just get into it. Now, before we get started, y'all know what to do. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. And if you want to support the channel even more, you can go over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash the horror bandwagon. Or you can click the join button below to join our YouTube membership. And finally, don't forget to check out our Discord where you can talk to us about the fall of the House of Usher and anything else that's on your mind. The link is going to be in the description below. But without further ado, let's get into it. That sounds slippery and mushy. <laughs> I believe ravens bring good fortune. I'm sure I want to know my fortune. All right, see, that's something I didn't know. Unless Verna is like lying to him. What does that mean? Are, are they really on the run? Like, are they trying to be found? They're acting real suspicious either I way. Know. This does seem like a cute bar to like have a New Year's Eve get together, you know? Mm -hmm. It's quiet, not too much craziness is happening. Thank God he's got you to call the shots. Oh, girl, Verna always oh, popping. She's gonna jump scare me in real life. Change the world, remember? Your brother answered for you. I wanna know what you want. That is what I want, do I strike? Yeah, let's get into that heart, girl. Either rich or famous, which rich. Okay, you're rich. You never have to work again. What now? Is it a trick? Is it like kind of like tricking you into making a wish? I think so. Oh, all right, girl. You know what? It's New Year's Eve. You gotta kiss somebody, you know? That feels like a seal the deal type of thing, though. The kiss of death. Cause like she got all dark all of a sudden. Mm. You always had a way with the ladies. Over the years, I mean. But you seemed happily married when I met you. That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. You said this is your confession. Confess. Yes, tell him. We only got a few more episodes. The night, though clear, shall frown. And the stars shall not look down. Interesting that they have like a full house here. And in the beginning, when the other siblings die there's only a few people so i wonder what happens between now and then the mothers perry leo cameo which will cling to the oh this is giving me like flashbacks to succession remember the funeral scene where they're like oh these are the wives dew drops from the grass <gasps> there's the jester mm -hmm. for a second there i thought it was doing a split my privacy at this time this is a very difficult moment for me please respect my privacy at this time you got it 
He's got to cover all bases, you know? Effective. <gasps> That's cold. That's so cold. <gasps> you bastard. Yeah. You're not making it easy, bro. Oh, shit. Wait, but this looks so cool. I need it as a painting. You bought out the whole place. Want a drink? No bartender? Fuck no, bartender. This is a private conversation. That is the dream. I want to be able to buy out a bar for a day and just do our thing. Mm -hmm. Technically, for our wedding, we have an open bar. That's as close as we're getting. For real. Those NDAs better be locked up tighter than Alcatraz if that guy thinks he's staying outside my place. Oh, right. So they each got, like, a bodyguard with them. Okay. You have the same hole, Vic. I don't know if you see it, but you have it, too. Camille tried to fill hers with information. Perry tried to fill it with... There's a lot of hole talk in this one. Juno. Mm. Nope. No. No. You don't talk about the junkie to me. Look, we're sorry. Dad's dad. I have a personal attachment to Juno for some reason. Be very just fine. Yeah, Dad really loves the uh, heart... Squeezer. For some reason. Really, Tambourine. Not the Heart Squeezer. That's the sequel show to Heartstopper. <laughs> you say what? You can knock me down, but guess what? I don't need to break through because I'm going over the top. The Telltale Heart. She's definitely next. She's the one dealing with heart. Let's say that again. Her blood ox levels are looking much better. Is my name Lenore? Given the damage structure to a ringling, but she'll. Oh, this poor thing. I think I'll be the next RBG. She's not a magic eight ball, honey. <laughs> I'm gonna take her home. Oh, uh... I, I don't think she. Oh, geez, she's having a little too much fun with this. In intensive care for 40 to 80 days. Most patients in her condition are not industry royalty. I could build a suite in one. Oh, God. Industry royalty just really got to me. Honey, honey, we can get through this. We can do it. Don't you want to come home? It's interesting that he suddenly has so much, like, bluster. Yeah, right? When he's always wilted every other time we've seen him in this show. I agree. Surgery next oh, week. Oh, well, Victory. fuck me. I thought you'd be happy. Who's the candidate? We're supposed to be partners in this. I haven't. Totally close with the heart. There's no way you could have gotten clearance for this. Oh, no. No, no, no. She knows that she got a human test. Signature is an unfalsified report. Hey. Oh, fucking, dummy, a fucking child. Shit, how do you think this industry works? Girl, leave. Go get out as, as fast as you can. You sang a different tune. When that money, hmm, my money, Usher money, Fortunato money. Oh, all the siblings are going off the rails right now. Of us. Wow. You're not going to say anything, are you, Albert, the NDA? Oh. oh, my God. Baby, please don't do this. You're not who I thought you were. Ow. Damn, girl. Ah! I, it's me again. Listen, just. I knew something was going to happen. I just felt it. It's the sound of the machine, right? The heart, the heart machine. I don't know what it is. Mm. That's supposed to throw us off because I don't know what's happening. I we're, do. We're hearing things. We are working on it. When? Can I ask why you're interested in here best all of a sudden? I'm now taking an interest. Ooh, Madeline. Oh, wait, Madeline? Mm hmm. Always fucking covers her tracks. A candidate we cannot risk. Do you understand? <laughs> Am I boring you? Mm? No. I loved how she delivered that line. Mm -hmm. Am I boring you? I'm going to start saying that to you. Oh, my God. <laughs> she already do. We believe the family is under attack. I was told these deaths were accidental. We are still investigating, Your Honor. I totally forgot that Dupin was the person who said this in the first place. I figured he, he would know who it is, right? Continuance isn't the end of the world, Mr. Dupin. But, Your Honor, this is bullshit. This family. You fucking tell me, because this judge is 
doing too much. So who was it, by the way? I mean, things all got so well. You know how they got. Oh, so to this day, he didn't reveal it. Oh, shoot. Oh, come on. I get why you didn't answer that day, but now, Augie, it's done. It's all over. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I bet it's no one. I bet it's no one. There was never an informant. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Stupid. Get through. I, watching you shit on your principles would have been worth every fucking penny. Fuck you. Drag me, you fucking honey badger. We finally got you off your... <laughs> the fucking honey badger. Part of me feels like at the end of this, Dupin is going to get screwed over somehow. I feel it. Oh, <gasps> what in the fucking world? Oh, oh. Oh. oh, no. Hoggy, let me relieve you of that burden. That scared me. That sent chills down mm -hmm. my spine. And you're expanding anyway, aren't you? Roddy says you're building a new campus. We are. Yeah. Oh, she's a talker. She knows how to like, just like, let's, let's navigate this. She's a queen without a crown. Answer any questions you might have. How do you take your coffee in the morning? How do you take your morning coffee? That's top of mind for me right now. Oh my God, dude. Smart girl is only sexy until you realize they don't want to fuck you and then they're competition. And what do you do with competition? You take them down a peg. Oh, come on. Actually, serve it. Serve it. Stomp on his dick. And this is important. Don't fuck with me, Madeline. Either of you. Do not fuck with me. Oh, I want them to screw him over so bad. This is so hard because I, in this time, I want them to screw him over. In present day, they're also still pretty awful. If me, Madeline Usher, do you get me? I get you. That's disgusting. That's men. Oh, I so thought she was gonna like stab him right there or something. To be dangerous. I'm not scared of rattlesnakes because they're so smart. He's smart, all right. Don't misjudge him. He's misjudged you. Don't. Yeah, they're working together. They're working together. I agree. This one gets it, Roddy. So we learned two things. First, he isn't worried about you. I honestly think that they're going to end up killing him. They're going to have to like cover their tracks. They take over the company. He gets mad because he's like, what the fuck happened? And somehow you're at the top of this company now. I think the opposite. I think they're going to work together and going to take the CEO out like the right way. Okay. And then as soon as he gets in that role, it's like. But like what leads him to New Year's Day? 1979 new year's eve 1979 that's an excellent question and this this is from leo's phone <gasps> oh i totally forgot that he took that picture that face you know her too new year's eve 1980 yes that new year's start connecting the pieces girls we'll sworn to never discuss that fucking night again i honestly i don't know what you're talking about but let me take the ride with you, Mads. Oh my God. Delusional. Bartender all those years ago, and now you've got another heir running around and maybe this one's psychotic. Tell me everything. <laughs> yes, us. yes. That's us. We're like, uh, tell us everything. Tell, tell us everything. I'm right. And since my brother likes to stick his dick into anything that moves, you've got new bastards popping up like new... God, I love her so much. Oh, she delivers lines so fucking well. Did she audition for Miranda Priestly? Because I could also see her doing that. Well, <sighs> Meryl Streep is that role, so... I'm authorized to approach these negotiations from a hostile posture. He's going to get it in the process because he's going to try snooping around and finding who this person is. Mm -hmm. The receipt. I'd like it to be her eyes. Both of them. Extracted. With patience. Damn. Mama, that was fucking fierce. She was like, bring me her eyes. Mm -hmm. That's so, like, fucking medieval of her. I mean, who doesn't? <laughs> I just... It's, it's about being the that is going to fucking 
knock me out. Drive me crazy. What's more important to you? Being famous or saving lives? <gasps> Bring the Verna out. Verna Fakai me. Supposed to be performing my surgery and I haven't gotten to talk to her yet. I I'd kind of like to hear what she has to say about it. I'm, I'm sorry. I do too. I want to know what she is. Nervous or hesitant. They read erratic behavior. Not fear, not exactly. Oh my god, oh my god. Is it happening right now? Red, turning red, or orange. I love... I will give you anything you want. Just name your price. Was she about to say, I love you? I think so. But then she was like, no, money, money talks. People fear that, they envy that. They want to tear it down. They want to tear us down. Now, do you know that I've had... I can't get past the man bun. <laughs> no offense to any man bunners no, out there. No, seriously. No offense to any man bun people. But this man Just bun? Just this man bun. It's thicker than a phone book. That's what that man does for us. So if he tells you to say something, you say it. They're really praising him. And he's like getting to be like the, the, the spotlight a little bit of these episodes. Well, Something and, is going to happen. And he said that he wouldn't be where he was without Roderick. So I think we're going to find out what that means. Oh, no. Your mother, who looked us in the eyes and said that she was going out with her girlfriends that night and lied. Girl, not to the child. Not on the bed she's about to recuperate in. Seriously. Just fall asleep in mid-sentence? No. <laughs> but say that again? I was just... <laughs> <laughs> I would say that this is Cody, but also I think I have done that before. I've definitely uh -huh. spaced out before. Uh-huh. Who belong? Well, Billy Boy, I guess that's why you're in front of the camera and not me, right? You're making approvals that you don't even remember. Does this guy kind of remind you of David Harbour? Like, just... You know, maybe dye his hair darker and then add a mustache. Kyle, you jazzercise and you bring that army of fitness fuckers with you. <sighs> you are a face. Smile and shut the fuck up. Oh, my God. What did you find, like, enticing about her? Boring, but never forget, I can easily replace oh. you. I'll just find another fitness guru with a hot ass and a snappy slogan. Oh, my God. This is hurting my feelings. I was walking with you! Some whore! Some fucking knockoff off-brand me! It is pathetic, so yes! Yo, Verna is doing a number on her! Verna is working extra shifts. It was always you! And I always fucking hated it! I hated it! Every minute of it! Oh, he's finally, like, telling her how he feels. But on another note, what a performance. She mm -hmm. delivered them lines. I'm mm -hmm. just saying. I felt that, like, sh through the screen, she hurt our feelings. Like, <laughs> no more than Mads did, anyway. The truth. It's impossible, anyway, isn't it? Is he behind that fucking brick wall? The Wait. old CEO killed him, buried him in the fucking basement of the building. Wasn't I on... on the, yes! I, I was on the money! Just go out like a warrior in ancient Egypt. Oh my god. Is he really trying? Whoa. Oh, <laughs> right, wait, Universal Studios? We're like, this could be a ride. Oh, oh okay. Can you turn it down? I think she's still hearing it. That's because she's trying to drown it out. To support you with everything. Everything I've got. It may even be a matter of... I'm sorry, Vic. Can you just turn the music? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of... I like... I, I think we, like, theorized this, that he's actually dying. I know that he's experiencing what the mother had, mm -hmm. but that he needs this to save himself. But also, maybe it means that he needs it for money-wise. I don't know. No, I think it's that he... Because remember, Madeline came to her earlier in the episode and was like, you're going to have a very special human trial person. What is that? 
I got support who means so much to me. Can he hear it? I think so. Oh, shoot. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. And I don't fucking care if you sue me or you rip me apart. NDAs can be found to be unenforceable if they're too much, so she might have a point. Oh, oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes, 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 yes. No, you didn't. You did not just hesitate. Oh, this is horrible. This is horrible. Have you never heard a woman getting eaten out before? Fuck off your pub, I'll have you replaced with someone less cringe. Not the time! Oh my god. Oh! No, it, she did not do. Oh! Oh, oh my god. Oh! Oh! Was that the human test? She's, she's quite dead. Isn't she? Explain it, wouldn't it? Or is she keeping her heart alive? She, that's what she tried to do. She tried to use the thing to. <gasps> yeah. Oh my god. Oh. You know, I wish you just jumped. Maybe then I wouldn't have to do that. My mind is blown right now. I'm. This is fucking nuts. <gasps> no. Oh. Was that Verna like taking over her body? That's what I thought it was. Cause I was like, she only talked about specific things that he knew. Okay, all right. Now what are you gonna do? <laughs> like, oh my God. Let's just sit in the silence for a little bit. Oh, and there's mosquitoes because it's rotting. The body's rotten. All right. Fun. All right, guys. So that was our reaction to the fall of the House of Usher, episode five, the Telltale Heart. Um, and I think I was on the money from the beginning. I knew that she was gonna be the kind of like the the um the source of this of this story. Um, but what did what did you think? Fuck. That was a really fucking good episode. It was also like quite disturbing. Like it's just like oh. The way that she spiraled, like you really, if you break it down, the things that she had to like, one, like as an actress, like just think about, she had to like know that she hurt her loved one and then still wanted to save her by using the thing that she was working on um, to keep her heart beating, but knowing that she's dead, right? Mm -hmm. She was dead. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I think that of all of the stories of her, this is my, I think my favorite retelling. Really? Yes. Well, before we discuss on like the similarities, uh, do you want to tell the folks at home the original source of the Telltale Heart? Absolutely. Let's go. So the Telltale Heart, uh, I may have said this at the beginning of the video, but this is one of Poe's I think best known stories. Yeah, this is the only one besides the Raven that I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, I, I, I know people talk about it. And compared to most of the other stories that we've covered in this series, it's relatively short. It essentially opens with a guy and it's all from his perspective saying, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Would a crazy person have done this? No, a crazy person would not have done this. Okay? Wait, done what? Okay. <laughs> so he starts off by saying, um, I don't I don't know why I did it. I just like I I didn't want this guy's money. I didn't want, you know, I, I, he didn't have anything. He didn't say anything to me, but you know what it was? It was his eye. The guy describes that the the person, the old man in the story, he had what he calls a vulture eye. And it, it was Whoa. like blue and filmy and whatever, but it creeped him out. He was like, he could feel it like looking into his soul. And so he says, you can tell I'm not crazy because of how smart I was. Okay. I was really smart. I was 
slow and I like he, he describes how he opens the door. He waits for the guy to fall asleep. He like slowly opens the door. He moves so slow. He's in the pitch darkness, just like waiting for the perfect moment. And then the guy wakes up. And so the old man wakes up and the guy who is in the room is like freezes, <laughs> doesn't do anything. Uh, Wait, does he see him? No, because it's pitch black. Oh, shit. And so the old man eventually, like, just says, oh, no, everything's fine. It was just, it was a cricket, or I just heard a creak of the house or whatever. And so he, he finally goes back to sleep. And then at some point, once he's back to sleep, the guy basically pounces on the old man, kills him. There, the old man lets out one shriek, and he describes how he was he was so smart about how he cleaned this up he waited for the man to die he basically smothered him with his own bed and he like he took the pulse he felt the heart and he makes a point when the old man is still alive that he can hear the heart beating he can hear the old man's heart from across the room he can hear it speeding up and speeding up as the guy gets more and more scared about what's going on and oh then God. he feels the heart and he feels that the heart is is not beating. And so he chops up the body, takes the floorboards, puts the man under the floorboards, puts the floorboards back. It's actually not too dissimilar to the black cat in the way that like yeah. the person describes how what great lengths he went to to cover this up that nobody could ever possibly tell that there was a body that had just been placed under there. And then the cops show up because a neighbor heard the scream. And so he was like, oh, that was just me. I had a nightmare. It's okay. And in his hubris, he, uh, after they like tore the place, he like says, why don't you just like chill here for a little bit? And just like, you know, it's four in the morning. You, you're, you're probably tired. Let's just like sit and chat, right? And then as he's talking to the cops, literally sitting on top of the dead body, he starts to just hear this ringing. And it gets louder and louder and louder. And he's like, what is that? Like he, he, he starts to get manic. He starts to act strange. He starts like not hearing what the cops are saying and just starting to say like exactly how she was acting. Mm -hmm. And then at some point it just drives him out. He can't stand anymore. He's like, fine, fine. I did it. I did it. Even though they were convinced that he was fine. He's like, I did it. You, that, that's that sound. That sound is the guy's heart beating, <gasps> and that's how the story ends. Oh shit! And so I thought that the way that this was retold was so good, because from the very beginning of the episode, it mirrors the very beginning of the story where he says, "I'm not crazy. I just I, my senses were so much better. The hearing, mm -hmm. especially, that he could hear everything." You could hear everything so much better. So the fact that she starts to hear the heart beating, she starts to hear the smoke detector beeping. Yeah. Like it was just so good and how it mirrored over the course of the episode, how she was fine. Everything was together. And then all of a sudden she was very much not fine. Just well, I also like, like how you described it. So this is like the first time I'm hearing of the actual details of this story. I've told Cody, like, cause he knows about them. I told Cody not to tell me until we film it, film it. So I really like how that one seems like very disturbing. And a lot of the stories that we've covered so far seem very disturbing and why I haven't gone into Edgar Allan Poe before, God knows why. But I liked that the way that you described and the way that Edgar Allan Poe describes the act of him killing somebody and slowly like describing it knowing how it feels how in detail it is and how like for me when you were telling i was like that sounds super disturbing that i and i've never heard of a story that like describes killing someone that way but i mean like when she threw the block at her how slowly we just watched her die in front of us kind of there at least for me i found those two similarities pretty adjacent and really cool disturbingly cool yes. if that makes sense but i especially loved the the twist that they threw on it where she it wasn't that she heard the heart beating she heard the heart mesh 
that keeps the heart beating. Yeah. That she put on the body to try to bring her back. That. And oh, that's like, so good. it's so, it's so tough. This is actually very, very complex because the character herself, you know that she really does love her, but she's so blinded by the idea of being an usher, mm -hmm. having this, this pressure of doing what her dad wants her to do. And like, even the moment where she's like, I love I'll give you any number. Like that is the and when you when you realize what she was trying to do and like oh my god I can't I can't even imagine just like seeing the love of your life the moment where she opens the the phone and she see it's she has the wallpaper as, as her mm -hmm. as as uh, like were they thinking, were they married I think they were married yes it was so sad like it's actually really sad like she really wanted and hoped that what she was doing was help was gonna help her but obviously not. Um, I also crazy. think that this is going to be interesting in terms of how it progresses the story because so far they thought that all the kids were being killed by this other person and now Roderick watched her kill herself. Yeah. I mean, I am very interested as to what's going to happen. I definitely, it, I think the character's name is Pim, right? Yes, Pim is the lawyer. Pim is getting really, really involved and there, I'm, I don't know, I'm sensing something because the way that Madeline is just like, no, he's gonna be here for a reason. He's gonna be out there to search for her, find her and like hunt her down. And he seems so confident about that. But like, I wonder what's gonna happen to him. I don't know. I'm very interested at how, how that's gonna go. And I don't know how it would fit here. Um, the next episode is called Goldbug. Mm -hmm. Goldbug. Uh, you said that this was a very long story. Yes, the gold bug is is a longer story. It's also one of the uh, is one of the ones that was most famous while he was still alive. Edgar. Yes. And, <laughs> I'm just like Edgar, like I know him. And interestingly, the gold bug is not a horror story. Oh. So I cannot wait to see what they do with it. Well, I'm only assuming it's going to be the sister, the last remaining sister that we have. But guys, let us know down below, as usual, how you felt about this episode, your thoughts, your theories. I mean, most of y'all already binged it already, but still sound off in the comments and we will see you in the next episode. But until then, we have been your source for horror analysis. Criticism. And spooky, okay. And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. Bye everyone. Bye. Bye.